Hey everyone, welcome to Wow Achievements by Ice Lighting. So it's the 1st of January 2024, so that means a new trading post. So as per usual, I've done it in under an hour. So I thought I'd share with you because I have been a little bit fragile this morning and I still pulled it off, so I figured I would let you know how to do it. So when I logged in, I already had 300 points, which is a great start because we always need points for free. So what I'd already done is complete the big time adventure storyline and to do the bronze hatchling quest. So this is all related around the bronze timekeepers. So um, if you haven't done those, finish that off and you get some easy points. So next off, there's a bunch that involve toys. And so I thought, well, I'd use those because it's easy and I don't have to think much. So if you have done the challenge races, you have the bronze timekeeper piece that turns you into this little bronze dragon and all you need to do is forward slash wave at our big bronze friend. So the next one you need to do with toys is make your way over to the temporal conflux. So that's over here if you don't know. So again using toys, this one is the status sand. So this you get from finishing off the quest line with bad chromie. So um, all you have to do is be here and use that one and you will get that ticked off and that's an easy 50 points. So the next toy you want to use over in this area is the Hourglass of Eternity. So this one is um, one that you will have bought with time walking points from W-O-L-K. Um, so if you haven't got that one, unfortunately you can't use it. But again, that's an easy 50 points if you've got it, same place. So again, another toy, just type in Banner and you will find your Bronze Dragon Banner if you have got it. It is just from um, the Accord. So if you've been doing that and you've got high rep, you could probably just go and buy it. It doesn't have to be at the Conflux, but you do have to use it in the dragon house. So then I made my way to the Emerald Dream because there's quite a lot of stuff to do in the Emerald Dream that rewards points. So a nice easy one is forward slash ponder and you will get an easy 25 points just for pondering at the main area. So um, easy, just go do that. Next, another easy 25 points is to flex at the bronze timekeeper's assistant. So the little dragon things just type forward slash flex at one and you get an easy 25 points. As I said, I wasn't doing anything too technical today. Um, the next part, another easy um, bunch of points is just to start the race and then use the time piece. Now, um, for some reason, my uh, quest, it was missing from the side. I actually had to open my bag and try and concentrate and crash and stop because you can only use it when you're stopped. So you can see it all went a bit wrong. But as soon as you use it, you get some points just for doing that. So again, another easy 25 points. You might as well do that. Next up, since I'm doing all the quests anyway, I eventually killed um, a bunch of creatures. I think it was uh, either 30 or 60, I can't remember. Anyway, there's 100 points for that. I then finished off five world quests, which is 50 points. Meanwhile, I was mining as I went around, which gave me another 50 points for having done 50 all herb skin, whatever. I then carried on with my questing and I then pulled off the 10 quests. So that's not world quests, it's quests. So this includes seeds and events and stuff like that. And then I thought, well, I'm really close. Well, let's just stick on war mode. It's really early in the morning. Hopefully nobody will be in the Emerald Dream because there's an easy 100 points from that one. And it also adds towards my world quest. So there was nobody there. I went, finished off, and that gave me everything. So that was the world quest for 100, the 10 um, world quests, as well as the PvP quest. And there is the achievement ding for having done 12 months of the trading post. So there is the trading post finished. So the achievement for doing that gave us a new set of transmog. So that is the transmog for the trading post. It's not particularly exciting if you ask me. Kinda looks like the wardens. I don't like it. I don't like transmog much. So that's fine with me. Anyway, the important stuff. So heading towards the trading post and opening a box. Look, a new thing, a new piece of transmog. Um, the only way I could get this to show was to take my gloves off because it's a wrist watch, basically. So take your gloves off if you have gloves and then you should be able to see it. It still doesn't show properly in this screen. So um, I don't know why. But when I clicked on it, I could then see it on my character. So at least that gives you an idea of what it looks like. And it's supposed to look like a watch. And that's what it looks like, basically. A little watch. So onto the actual interesting parts. What is available to buy? So there's some weird wasteland stuff that I don't like. Um, a mount, which is just way too similar to the other um, Paradax tools or whatever, however you pronounce that. But this, oh, how awesome and cute and beautiful is that? 
I know it's the call of the scarab this month and I think that's why they went with it. <laughs> I quite like that. And there's a pet. We do love pets too. It's a little time lost salamantha, which I suppose is close to a salamander. Anyway, I ummed and aahed for a second and then just went, you know what, I'm, I really, really want that one. Um, so I chose to go with the crystal scarab thing over the golden paradox thing because I don't like it that much and I decided to spend the rest of my points on the pet so it gave me a toy, a uh, toy, gave me a mount and a pet for this month which I think is a win. So of course let's go have a look at them and see what they do. So I'm always pleased when they make it a present I can open so the mount is a present. Ah, it's just like Christmas again. Anyway, this is our new mount and I shall mount it so you can see it in all its glory. It is pretty fabulous and it's quite big and look at the wings when it flies. It has little pink wings. How adorable is that? So this is what it looks like when it is up in the air and this is what it looks like as you move around. Now the thing I found the most entertaining about this one is when you come in for a landing, its little wings go away again and you're back to crawling along the floor and that just looks so cute, I don't know why. And of course here is our new little Salamatha. So these are the spells, actions, things, whatever you want to call them that it does. And I shall summon it so you can see that one in all its glory. It's actually quite a big pet which is quite cool. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.